Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for Engineering Mechanics Statics um, by R.C. Hibbler. Uh, we have this fundamental problem uh, in Chapter 2 where it says determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the screw I and its direction measured clockwise from the x-axis. So we can start off this problem just by drawing a free body diagram. Uh, and by free body diagram, I just mean sketching out the, the, all the forces that are acting here. So you've got this two kilonewton force here, and you've got this six kilonewton force here. Let's just add. Oops, Daisy. Let's just add some geometry to this. So you've got. Let's add the uh, x-axis here, and let's also add these these. Uh, Angles, so you've got this 45 degree angle here, and you've got this 60 degree angle here. And let's add the magnitudes of these forces. So you've got this 6 kilonewton force here, and this 2 kilonewton force here. Um, now, to solve this problem, we can do what's called resolving horizontally and vertically. By that, I mean um, resolving horizontally, for example, just means adding up all the horizontal uh, components together and resolving vertically that just means adding all the vertical components together so i could say that the sum of the x forces or the sum of the horizontal components here is equal to uh, in this case 2 cos 45 plus oh no not plus at all minus uh, 6 cos 60 minus because uh, the horizontal component of this 6 kilonewton force is acting to the left okay um, and when we add that all together, let's just check my notes, we get minus 1.58, okay? Uh, we can then move on and resolve vertically. We can say that the sum of the y components here is minus two sine um, 45 minus six sine 60. If you're unfamiliar with what I'm doing here, I'd suggest um, going to my other video, uh, which explains how to add uh, vector quantities together. Okay, so when we add these vertical components together, we get minus 6.61, which essentially means if we were to uh, diagrammatize our, um, our resultant force, let me just move my face. If we were to draw a diagram of our resultant force, so combining these two forces, uh, we'd say it's acting 1.58 to the right, to the left, sorry, uh, and 6.61 down. Okay, so 1.58 to the left and 6.61 down. Uh, if we're to find the, oops, let's draw an arrow here. If we're to find the magnitude of the resultant force here, um, Note, we've got a right angle triangle, okay? So we could use Pythagoras' theorem here. Uh, I'm not gonna spoon feed Pythagoras' theorem to you guys. Uh, here I would just do uh, 1.58 squared plus 6.61 1 squared. Don't have to include the minuses here since when, when you square a negative, it, it becomes positive anyway. Uh, and this is equal to um, 6.8, 6.8. Uh, so we can say that the magnitude of the resultant force here uh, is equal to 6.8. The question also asks its direction measured clockwise from the x-axis. It might be helpful then to determine this angle here. Let's call it theta for now. Um, we can use it now that we have all three sides of the right angle triangle, we can use any trigonometric ratio we like. We can use sine, cosine, or tan. Um, I'm going to use tan here. We can say that the tan of theta here is equal to um, the opposite over the adjacent. The, the side opposite the angle here is 6.61. The side adjacent to the angle that isn't the hypotenuse is, is 1.5. We can take the inverse tan both sides, we can say that theta is equal to the inverse tan of 6.61, 1.5 uh, 
all over 1.58. And when we bring that in our calculator, we find that theta in this case is equal to 76.6. Okay, now, um, no, the question is asking for the angle measured clockwise from the um, uh, x-axis. So it's not looking for 76.6 degrees here. What it's asking for is if I just, uh, so this is my x-axis here. Um, this is our resultant force here. Um, what we have at the moment is this angle. So this angle is equal to 76.6. What it's asking for is this angle measured clockwise from the x-axis. So just subtracting uh, 76.6 from 180, that gives us 103.4 degrees. And these are our two answers, 103.4 uh, degrees and a uh, magnitude of 6.8 uh, kilonewtons. Awesome. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching.